Hello all. Well, 26 people dead here in the U.S. from tornadoes. As many as 80 tornadoes have been reported over the last five days here in the U.S. Midwest. The uh, news, corporate news, is saying it's La Nina's fault. They were having all these deadly tornadoes. They, they're, they're unaware that La Nina's gone and El Nino has taken its place. They're, they won't say climate change no matter what, but people on this channel know it's climate change and that uh, more and more people are going to get killed and hurt through climate and the weather. But there's another problem. Worldwide, the UN is saying that there's a food shortage coming and they need $23 billion from rich countries to try and stave off the starvation and migration in the next year and a half, which is coming. They say that they'll be lucky to raise half of that and that uh, mass migrations will begin. Well, there's a question. What can we do about it? Yeah, there is stuff we can do about it if we really want to. The question is, do we want to? And there's lots of things besides stopping driving cars and using fossil fuels is doing something that causes fossil fuels to be used in great quantities. But by the time it gets to us, there's nothing to do with fossil fuels. Let's go up here and talk about that, about what we can do about staving off some of this de devastating climate change, which is coming faster and faster. All right, switch is going bad in the camera. Hopefully it'll work for the rest of the spring at least. So there are many things we can do that don't involve driving or using fossil fuels directly. It's the indirectly part. And one of them is meat eating. There's a lot of fossil fuels and greenhouse gases such as methane that are caused by eating meat. How the world's appetite for meat is changing. Who's eating more and who's eating less? As countries get richer, the people tend to eat more meat. Not surprisingly, over the last century, Western countries have consumed far more animal protein on average than the rest of the world. Where is meat consumption declining the most? Lebanon, Djibouti, Nigeria, Kuwait, and the Bahamas. Where is meat consumption is increasing the most. Malawi, 13.76% higher. Tajikistan, 10.79% higher. Chad, 10.58% higher. And Myanmar at 8.4% higher. Let's look at the average annual percentage of change in kilograms of meat consumption per person from 2008 to 2017 exclude seafood. The orange areas is increasing, the orange and red. The yellow is decreasing and white is holding steady. As you can see, there are countries that are decreasing their meat consumption. But as the information tells us that wealthy countries such as the West, Western countries are increasing. However, the U.S. and Canada are decreasing or holding steady their meat consumption. That's very good news because they are very heavy on meat consumption. Even if you decrease your meat like one meal a week, that will help global climate change. Or try a substitute meat. There are many very good substitute meats out there that are made from soy and soybeans. Especially the hamburgers that you get uh, nowadays is very good. And they're not, there's no meat in it at all, but you can't tell by eating it. And the texture and everything is really good. So give it a try and see what you think. If you really want to help people around the world stop consuming meat or reduce your consumption of meat, become a vegetarian. A vegetarian means you have to research it and find out how you get enough protein and, on, and your essential nutrients. But it's all doable by being a vegetarian or somewhat vegetarian. Just the cruelty of raising animals is just unbelievable now. The factory farms, especially, pol uh, especially uh, pigs, the way they kill pigs is very, very cruel. They put them in a big vacuum, a big chamber, and then they squeeze all the pigs together, about uh, 70 at a time. There's these walls that squeeze in and squeeze all the pigs together. And then they suck all the oxygen out of the air and put in nitrogen. Now, pure nitrogen stings the nostrils really 
badly and uh, they slowly suffocate while suffering through very painful nitrogen pollution. And here we go. Lots of people out today. So the poor pigs have to go through nitrogen torture before they die. That's just awful. That, that alone would stop me from eating anything pork or bacon or any of that stuff because of the torture that goes on with the nitrogen pollution that they kill pigs with. And if you don't believe me, look it up on YouTube. Just put in slaughtering pigs nitrogen and it'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you can see for yourself the poor pigs suffering and trying to get out of the chamber desperately. Something like what happened with the Holocaust when Hitler gassed the people in the chambers and how they all tried to get out at once, clawing the walls and fighting with each other, trying to get out before they died. It's the same thing. No difference, just so that humans can eat meat. All right, people, I'm sorry to bring on such dire situations, but we need to do something to stop what's happening around the planet. And one of those things can be helping by stopping your meat consumption. I appreciate all the comments on this, your ops, and the new subscribers, and until next time.